Hello there. My name is Tim the Dragon 94 and today we have another Blu-ray review. Now this came in the mail a couple days ago. Um, I didn't get a chance to unbox it on camera so I apologize but I don't have a tripod so I don't think it would have worked out anyway. But today I am reviewing the Man of Steel Lego exclusive Blu-ray. Um, for those of you that don't know what this even is, um, this came out in last year. Um, I don't remember when exactly, but it was around February 2018 to 2019. They did a promotion, and uh, they had, they sold these with exclusive um, Lego slipcovers. And they have a few. Now here's the normal cover, and this is the Lego edition. It's got it looks like it's made out of Lego bricks, and it's got Lego and Lego. It looks pretty pretty sick. And um, I saw these at my local Walmart when the, when the promotion was happening, and um, I did not think in my brain to pick any of these up and uh, it's a uh, decision I am regretting but uh, one that I am rectifying so I the first one I got um, have gotten is Man of Steel so um, yeah I'm just gonna get right into the review now um, here we have the slipcover honestly uh, you already saw that but uh, I think it looks really cool uh, it's probably one of my favorites besides the Batman v Superman and Wonder Woman covers um, down here we have the sticker, um, get up to $8 towards one movie ticket to see the Lego Movie 2, and it expired already, because obviously it's not in theaters anymore, but this, this is a pretty cool promotion, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm not taking that sticker off, because uh, I'm a completionist. Um, there was one underneath the package that you could have used for a code, but it's fine. Um, I'm not going to use, I'm not going to take it off. And, um... Here we have the Blu-ray logo. Warner Brothers doesn't normally do this. They normally do like Blu-ray 3, uh, Blu-ray DVD, digital HD, code expired, blah. Uh, but um, this one just came with the Blu-ray, as did all those promotions. So uh, they didn't go with uh, that logo. They just have this Blu-ray thing up here, which is cool. I like it. Here we have DC. It's just normal cover. Here we have the spine. It was different than the original release of this movie because it didn't have that DC logo at the bottom. But, um, yeah, the blue stripe continues, and I like that a lot, Warner Brothers slipcovers, uh, the blue stripe. Here we have the back. It, oddly enough, the first edition and this edition didn't come with a description of the movie. Most movie cases do, and I thought that was kind of strange, but, you know, what can you do? Slipcover doesn't match up perfectly, but, um, that's it, that's it, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It looks cool. This side here, it's basically the same. Um, my copy came a bit damaged. I had to fix it with some glue. I recommend Loctite if you want to fix um, 3D slipcovers on, on the, um, the card on the cardstock or whatever they use. Um, underneath this, uh, that's a really special part. This is just a normal movie. Um, it's just normal Man of Steel. And, uh, actors, Zack Snyder. The spine doesn't have the DC. This was the original release cover and they just threw that on top of it which is cool glad they added the DC logo looks better with a slipcover now and um, on a on a shelf with a complete collection or something and uh, you have the back no description I'll just open this up and um, yeah here we have the blu-ray no DVD obviously um, here's the blu-ray movie and here are the blu-ray special speech special features but uh, there's no inserts or anything um, that's basically it. And, um, yeah. Now we see how it looks on the shelf. And here we have it on the shelf. Now, um, I don't have very many DC movies. They only made about, what, eight or nine? But, um, there's multiple editions of each movie that I'm going to get. Such as, like, the Target, uh, Digibooks, and, uh, the first editions. But, uh, I gotta get the first edition of Man of Steel. And, um... I need Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, um, Wonder Woman, and then uh, any more ones they do. Birds of Prey. I didn't see Birds of Prey. I don't really know what it's about, but um, I might, might get it, maybe. And um, yeah, here we have the shelf. And uh, I only have four, and then these Lego movies that I bought because they have mini figures. But um, Justice League, Aquaman. Zam with that cool 3D slipcover. I might review that. I don't know. But um, 
these movies, some of these movies here are trash and I need to get rid of them. Not Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka's cool, but like, some of these don't belong right here. I just need a buffer because, um, the metal scratching the steel books and some of the slipcases were getting, uh, a little bit messed up. But, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this, uh, review on Man of Steel. And I will see you for the next video, whatever that is. Um, goodbye.